New fish day. Welcome back to the channel everyone. Nice to see you again. I have a little mystery bag. So today we're going to be stocking this tank you can see behind me. This is my office. This is where I do my normal work. Um, but we've caught this tank. It's been running for about a week now with nothing in it. And today we're going to add our first livestock. This was an impromptu visit to my local fish shop Elm Lane Aquatics. And we have in a bag what looks like some extremely pale and colourless fish. But that wasn't what I bought. So in here we've got some real nano fish. We've got some chili rasboras and some ember tetras. And the thing that drew me to these was in the shop, because they were quite settled, they're really, really bright colours. So hopefully if you keep watching this video, we'll show you them once they've got settled in and we'll show you the difference in colours. But first off, I think we'll get these fish into the tank and then we can tell you a little bit more about them. First thing we're going to do is just float the bag and get them up to temperature and make sure they're temperature acclimated. So even though these are quite compatible as uh, different species of fish because the water parameter requirements are both overlap quite a wide range, um, they're very different fish. They're both very small obviously, but the ember tetras are from South America, from Brazil, whereas the chili rasboras are more of an Asian fish, a Borneo I think. I will have to look that up. You can see here they're quite pale at the moment because they're a bit stressed out because they're still in the bag and they've just been transported. But one of the things that drew me to them was the very vivid colours. Chili rasboras I've been looking for a, for a long time. Um, if you've been subscribed to the channel for a while, you'll know I tried to get some for my old office tank when I had a little nano cube. Just couldn't find them anywhere. Unfortunately, I could only get three because they only had three in this shop. Um, so hopefully I can add a few more later, but at least that'll get us started. So I'm going to get these up to temperature um, and then I'm just going to use the old plop and drop method and get them into the tank, let them settle down a bit and hopefully they'll start to colour up reasonably soon. I can see they're already starting to colour up a little bit and you can see why I chose these fish. So I've even been in the tank only 10 minutes maybe, something like that, they're already starting to colour up so fingers crossed that's going to keep going well and they will continue to settle and look better and better. Um, I've only got five of the ember tetras and three of the chili rasboras. Ideally, I'd have at least double that amount of both species, but that's just what they had at the, the time. So hopefully they'll get some more stock in from the same supplier and I can go back and get some more and fill out the tank a little bit. The ember tetras especially are very much a shoaling species. They like to stick together. They like Even in this small group of five, they're up and down the tank on their own together, sticking really tightly together. Um, as I said, they're quite a compatible species with all kinds of fish, so the two together, they have quite a wide temperature range, they're happy between anything from 20 to 28 from all reports, um, quite a wide pH range, so as long as it's kind of under 7, 7 or under, um, they are seemingly quite happy with that. The tank set up itself, they're both happy in a planted tank, it gives them the cover they need, it helps accentuate their colours, gives them places to hide, to explore, all that kind of stuff. They work with a wide range of fish, so as long as you um, intend to keep them with something that's not too much bigger, so the ember textures are a small fish, but the chili rasboros make them seem massive. Um, so as long as you don't go too big and too aggressive, so anything that's peaceful and quite small, they'll generally do quite well with. I did quite a bit of research on the chili rasboras before I, I got them, or when I was trying to get them before. The ember tetras, not so much, so this is very much my general knowledge. These aren't fish that I've kept for a long time, so this is from doing my research and talking to people who have kept them before. So if you are interested in keeping these fish, make sure you do your own research as well. Feel free to ask me questions if this video's been out for a while and I've had more experience, I might be able to answer some of those questions. One of the other things I like about this is the ember tetras are they're really quite small fish, they don't get much bigger than a couple of centimetres. Um, but the chili rasboras, they're really small. So I like to think that improving the ember tetras self-esteem by putting them in with such small fish, they don't ever get a chance to be the bigger fish in the aquarium. But they do in this one. So, you know, Hopefully, proud little guys. Just a quick one this time, showing you some new additions to this tank. I'm sure there'll be a few more in the coming weeks. So if you like this kind of thing, make sure you click that subscribe button, then you won't miss any videos in the future. But we'll leave it there for this week, um, or this video even. If you have any ideas of what else I could be adding to the, um, the aquarium, let me know in the comments. I'm really interested to hear what you think. That was the floor, nothing else. Um, and make sure you check us out Friday night, nine o'clock. Come along to the live stream, ask all your questions there, and we'll see you then. Bye.